Welcome back. So this is my how I'm going to deal with stains on a really good jacket. <laughs> All right. So as I said in my update video, I paid $35 for this jacket. I pretty well knew that these Disney um, bomber jackets are really good. Um, and then I saw that the size on it was excellent. It's an XL. XLs are really good sizes to look for. Um, I usually don't find them or I'm not lucky enough to find them. I usually get there when it's like small and mediums. But even I think I was just looking at this jacket and even the small and mediums are selling. Um, so, okay. So here's my issues. There's an issue there with uh, the stain that is on the inside, um, but it's still a stain. So it's still going to have effect on the value. Um, here are some on the sleeves. Not sure what these are because obviously I got it from an estate sale, so I don't know what these are. This one almost looks like maybe a grease stain, like a... Um, like tomato sauce in that, and then the grease sort of uh, pill pulled out a little bit. Um, all right, so that is the inside, the outside of the sleeves. And now we got this one right here under the collar. Sometimes I have to wonder, how did these stains even get here? I mean, that's underneath the collar. <sighs> Um, there's no smell, uh, like no bad smells to it at all. So I'm not sure, you know, it, I think it was kept in an okay place. It's just wherever they wore it, they had issues. We got food fight or something here. God. So anyway, so here's my first trick. And this is the least invasive um, of these tricks. This is something my mom used when I was a kid and I was always amazed at how well it worked um, for treating stains and then she'd treat the stain with this stuff and then she would wash it and it was gone most of the time. So I think it depends on what kind of uh, stain it is. So this is what it is. Uh, spray and wash laundry pre-treater stain stick. First time stain removal, treat now, wash later. <laughs> um, so basically, you would put this on, like on each stain, and just rub it right in there until it's got a good coating of it on there. And then I like to wait at least overnight, but you can actually treat it and wash it up to seven days later. So if you don't have time to deal with it, you can actually um, let it sit like that for at least seven days. Um, I don't wait. I don't ever wait that long. I feel like the stuff would dry out. Let me, and it does. It really, literally looks like a stick of deodorant. <laughs> um, but I have had very good luck with my own clothes in the past with this stuff. So um, this is going to be a multi-day video. So I'm going to treat this today. And then I'm going to finish this video up tomorrow. I want the jacket to sit with this stuff on it for at least 12 hours overnight. Um, I'll wash it tomorrow morning. And then we'll review the stains. And see how much has come out. If I can't get the stains out that way... I will probably use an OxyClean paste, um, a paste that I would make myself. Um, and then give that a try, try to work that in there. And that's a little bit more invasive because I'm going to actually try to work those stains out myself. But like I said, usually this spray and wash stuff works great. All right. So, um, Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Welcome back. Okay. So, this is sort of a part two of uh, 
getting this jacket ready for listing. So before I showed you the uh, spray and wash, um, kind of looks like a deodorant stick. And um, what I wanted to do was just show you actually treating the stains. And I'm just going to set this up. So you can see one on the inside here. This is like a, a nylon. Now, let me see if it actually says here. Uh, shell is 100% cotton. Lining, 100% polyester. And let's see. Padding is 100% polyester. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. So... And this is, is quite simple. So we just run the stick right over the stain. And I usually push it in a couple different directions to really get saturated in there. And you can feel it almost feels like a waxy texture um, when you're done. Sorry, I'm just trying to adjust the camera here. There we go. All right. Okay. So basically, and then I'm just going to do that on everywhere I see any staining. So that is that one. That, I think that's like the biggest one on this coat on the inside. And I don't see any here. On this front, okay, here's one on the sleeve, which appears to be like a, uh, a grease stain to me, like maybe a sauce or something. So, okay, and this I need both hands, so I'm going to try to do my best at aiming this, okay? Okay, and that's another one. Oh, there's one which might have just been rubbing on something. I don't know if you can see that. I know the lighting is horrible. This is my laundry room, so. And I just really working it into the, each stain. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let it sit for at least 12 hours before I actually wash it. And that, I think it's just to give it time um, to really get into the stain and saturate it. So hopefully when I run it through the wash, just a regular wash, um, it will work its way out. Like I said in the past, my mom used to be able to get things out and all she ever did was use this. I think she, a couple times you had to use an OxyClean to get something out, but for the most part, it was really just the spray and wash. She would treat it and then one day and then go back to it, wash the next day and the next thing I know, stain's gone. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this works. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Welcome back again. <laughs> of course, this is all in the same video, and I think I've said this a couple times. Anyways, all right. So now the coat has been washed after I did the pre pre treating, um, and it did really really well. Um, the lighting in here is horrible, so I'm actually <laughs> brought my critical light. So, I'm trying to remember where all the stains were. Now, the best I can figure, or the best I can see, is this. I think it was, I think it's drowning it out. Maybe this is better. Right, where is it? Ah, right here. 
is <laughs> where one stain still is. Um, if you remember, this is there was a little bit of a stain in the middle and then what looked like a little soaked grease maybe that spread around it. I do not see any kind of a grease mark, but I do see a little bit of a stain still on here. I'm I'm super critical on this stuff. So <laughs> um and I'm thinking you can't really see it on the camera, but it is there. Uh, I'm checking everything else. Now, if you remember, there was a quite a large stain on the inside of the coat. It is gone, completely gone. And I don't see any other. Uh, the other thing, I think there was some on the sleeve here. And I am not seeing any staining there. Um, flip it over. There was some, a little bit on the boot here. And I can see a very, very slight tinge of yellow. So what I think I'm going to do at this point... Um, oh yeah, and there was some on the collar. But... I am not seeing anything on the collar anymore. So that stain stick did wonders. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one more time for this spot right on the toe of that sneaker and on the in inner sleeve over here, which is a very small spot. So I probably won't do another video, um, but... I mean, this is in, this is incredible. It's that stain stick is still <laughs> uh, still does wonders as for spray and wash, um, and I just can't believe it. I mean, these were sudden stains of what I do not know um, because it was from an estate sale. No clue what was on them or what they were of. Um, I mean, they could have been dirt stains. I'm assuming maybe a spaghetti sauce stain, like a little drip of it, just judging by the grease ring that I saw around this one here on the sleeve. Um, so I think they probably were food related, but I couldn't tell from the other ones what they were. But that stain stick does wonders. Um, so I guess that'll end this round of videos. Um, please like and subscribe, comment down below, um, you know, if you have other tricks in that, um, if these, if the stain stick didn't work, I probably would have just tried a little bit of an OxyClean paste. I also have a spray on OxyClean that works pretty good. Um, but usually, most often, the spray and wash stick, um, does the trick. I just you just have to have the time to let it soak in and sit for at least 12 hours and usually that'll do it um, and I'm wondering if that's why this the stain on the sleeve here didn't completely come out because I don't think I waited the full 12 hours uh, but it did get most of them out anyways so I'm going to do one more treatment on this wash it again tomorrow morning and hopefully get it listed by the end of tomorrow um and I'm probably going to do a uh, How I List Clothing video pretty soon. Um, it might even be sometime tomorrow. So, again, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.